Okay, so here we are at the drum kit at last. So we've got the grip. Hopefully you've been practicing that on a pad or on the carpet or anywhere you want to practice it. Um, what I'm just gonna do is talk you around the drum kit very quickly so you know all the parts of the drum kit. So you're probably familiar down here with the bass drum, one of the most well-known drums. Um, and this we play with the foot pedal. We'll talk about technique more later. Um, but all you really need to know right now is that you can either play heel up or heel down. Those are your two main options. So heel up simply involves placing your foot on the pedal and lifting the heel. Now a lot of, um, a lot of terminology in drums, in the world of drums, is pretty obvious. Okay, and that plays nicely into the hands of all the drummer jokes if you haven't heard any yet, you will become the victim of pretty much every musician joke. Um, all running along the lines that we're stupid. Okay, so to help us stupid caveman, Neanderthal type people, most names and terminology on the drum kit are pretty, they're pretty obvious. So heel up is heel up whilst the front of your foot is on the pedal and you simply push down on the pedal and it strikes the drum. Um, heel down probably guessed it, your heel is now down. The whole foot is flat on the pedal. You'll be generating the power from the front of your foot. You'll be pushing your toes down and again, then the beater strikes the head. There's no wrong or right. I play a majority of, of what I do heel up. I find I can get more power and more speed that way. But sometimes I'll play heel down, especially if I'm playing lighter. Maybe if I'm playing some jazz, I might go heel down just so I can get those real soft notes, do a bit of feather in as the technique's known. So it's up to you how you want to do that. Um, the beater will hit the drum head and you can either leave it against the head, known as burying the head, burying the beater in the head, or you can allow it to rebound like we do on the hand drums, as we discussed in the previous video. Again, it's up to you. Most, for, for a lot of what we play, we're playing rock, pop, funk, a lot of these common styles. The drum, the bass drum actually is stuffed with cushions or pillows or EQ pads, whatever you want to put in there gives it a very dull thud sound, a bit like this. So if we've already killed all the natural tone of that drum anyway, burying the beater in the head doesn't actually make much of a tonal difference. If you're playing um, a very open sound, so you sometimes get this in jazz, or um, Keith Carlock does it, who's um, a great session drummer, plays with lots of people, he, he has a very open bass drum. What that means is, there's nothing in the drum. It just resonates like any other drum. We don't, we don't deaden it, we don't dampen it, we don't kill it. Um, in which case, you're more likely to want to bring the beater off to let it rebound so the drum can actually resonate and give its full tone. If you've stuffed it full of cushions or whatever, it's a dead sound anyway, so you can bury it. So a lot of what I play actually do bury the beater. There are different schools of thought, but you know, if, you, if, you, if you've got a dampened bass drum, just do a, do a little A-B test. Rebound, bury it, see if there's a big difference. Um, if there's not, then you want to work more on what feels good for you and allows you to play the best. Okay, so moving on to the top part of the kit. The drum right in front of us here is the snare drum. One of the most used drums of the kit. Um, use this for, for most of what we do. So you've already got the grip. We're aiming to hit this right in the middle of the drum. We're going to let it rebound, and the sound we get is like this. So that's the snare drum. Um, we then have, well, I'll go to the hi-hat next, actually. So this is the first of the cymbals. This is two cymbals brought together. You can keep them closed with the foot pedal. If you're starting out and you don't want to faff around with your left foot, what I often do with new students is I'll actually clamp it shut. I'll clamp the clutch shut. It's a good idea to have your foot on the pedal anyway, but you don't really have to think about it. Once you set it, and again, the height's up to you, I tend to set it about an inch or so. Um, once you set it, you then need your foot pressed down on the pedal to keep the hi-hat shut. That way we get this sound. Open, we get this sound. Now where you hit the cymbal, or the hi-hat, is up to you, it depends. Um, if you want a rockier sound, you'll play it more on the edge. 
If you want a tight kind of funk sound or pop sound, you'll use the tip of the stick on top of the hi-hat, like that, as opposed to that rocky one where we're using the shoulder of the stick on the edge. Different sounds for different things. Right now I would say, play on the top using the tip of the stick, get a clean, nice tight sound. So where you've got the bell of a hi-hat, and every cymbal has a bell, it's the raised bit in the middle. Well, uh, there are some specifically without, but most cymbals do have a bell. If you go halfway between the bell and the edge of the cymbal, that area is where you're gonna get the, the cleanest, most articulated sound on your hi-hat. So that's where you wanna to look to be playing it. So moving around the kit, we also have the Tom Toms. Standard setup, which, I, which I've put here, just so you kind of get used to it, is the three Toms. So with the bass and the snare and the three toms, it's a five piece kit. So that's the most common um, drum kit configuration, a five piece. Toms, we have high tom, medium tom, and low tom or floor tom, it's sometimes known as, because it sits on the floor often. Okay, mine's a hanging tom, it hangs, but a lot of them sit on the floor. They should descend in um, their note, which is why it's high, medium, low. Not because of the position, because these aren't, you know, high and medium aren't higher than each other in position is to do with the tone. So if we listen going from high, medium to low, we get these sounds. And for the standard kit, that just leaves us with the other cymbals. So on this kit, I've got three crashes. Okay, sometimes you might have one crash, sometimes you might have two, one on either side. So you've got different tonal options, but also you've got a, a crash to hand, whichever ever side of the kit you're on, so it's nice and easy. Um, so we'll just have a listen to those. Um, so what we got here is, is we've got 16 inch K Custom Dark, 18 inch K Custom Dark, and an 18, uh, an 18 inch A Custom Rezo. So I'll just give those a little bash one by one. Okay, so you can hear slight tonal differences. Different, um, different parts of the song might require a slightly different sound. Also, as I say, nice and easy. Wherever I am, I've got a crash to hand. Finally, we have the ride cymbal. So this is used as an alternative sound to the hi-hat. This is generally a bigger cymbal. This is a 20 inch here, 20 inch Zildjian K. Again, um, we, we use the bell of this cymbal a lot, but also finding that midpoint between the bottom of the belt and the edge of the cymbal is where you get the cleanest sound with the most ping. Sounds like this. Okay, so there's our ride cymbal. I'm gonna test your memory now, okay? So I will hit each drum and each cymbal one by one. As I do it, see if you can remember what it's called. So we'll start down here with the pedal. There we go, just in case you've noticed a little symbol up above this crash and you're wondering what the hell is that? It's a small crash, they're known as a splash. That's just splash, again you can have multiple splashes or none at all, some people hate them with a passion. I think they're great, I've been recording lately and I've, I've got it up there. In the right place, you sparingly, they can be really good. Okay, so there's the drum kit. I'm just gonna play out with um, with a little bit of a, a drum beat, and um, then we can just get on to the first lesson where, where we're gonna actually learn to use the drum kit. See you there. <laughs> 